Hello everyone, welcome to another video on CompTIA A plus exam question series. This is video 7 in this series. If you haven't subscribed yet, so please subscribe so that you get all the videos in time. So let's get started. So the first question in today video is that which of the DNS database records listed below returns a 32-bit IP address and the options are MX, Tetra A, C name, A and PTR and the correct answer is A. So A record returns the 32-bit IP address. Question number two is that the DNS database Tetra A record creates a pointer that maps to a host name that maps a host name to IP version 4 address, mail server, IP version 6 address and canonical name and the correct option is IP version 6. So the AAA A records creates a pointer that maps the host name to IP version 6. Question number 3 is that which of the following DNS database records maps a domain name to a list of mail server for that domain and the options are NS, SPF, MX and PTR and the correct option is MX. Question number 4 is that which is what is the function of a DNS txt record we have to select two answers and the options are resolves an IP address to a host name for reverse lookups maps a domain name to a list of mail servers for that domain provides outside services with additional information about a domain not used to direct any traffic and allows multiple domain names to resolve to the same IP address and the correct answers are provides outside services with additional information about a domain and not used to direct any traffic. Question number five is that which DNS TXT records are used for spam management? We have to select three answers and the options are SPF, DKIM, SRV, DMARC and PTR and the correct answers are SPF, DKIM and DMARC. Question number six is that which of the answers listed below refers to an authentication method that enables signing and outbound email message with digital signature. Options are SPF, DKIM, SRV and DMARC. And the correct answer is DKIM. Question number seven is that which of the following answers refer to an open standard defining a technical method to prevent electronic mail, mail, send, email, mail sender address forgery and the options are SRV, DKIM, SPF and DMARC and the correct answer is DKIM. So the question number eight is that the time a DHCP client can use an IP address dynamically assigned by the DHCP server is referred to as the options are option, reservation, scope and lease and the correct answer is lease. So lease is the amount of time that DHCP server gives uh, to, an, to a client uh, for uh, an IP address. Question number nine is that the range and the, the range of IP addresses that a DHCP server can lease out to DHCP clients is known as the options are lease, reservation, scope, and DHCP relay. And the correct uh, uh, answer is scope. Question number ten is that which of the following terms listed below refers to a permanent IP address assignment from a DHCP server? Options are scope reservation, DHCP relay and lease and the correct answer is reservation. So the name itself indicates that reservation means that you reserve an IP address 
to a client and this IP this means that the IP address is permanently assigned to that client question number 11 is that which of the following terms refer to a logical grouping of computers that allow computer hosts to act as if they were attached to the same broadcast domain regardless of their physical location and the options are VLAN DMZ SNMP community and VPN and the correct answer is VLAN so let's uh, let me clarify this uh, a little further let's suppose this is a switch and we have different client attached to let's suppose this is client 1 this is client 2 and let's suppose this is client 3 so let say we have a VLAN 2 and this this client and this client they are both connected to the VLAN 2 they are both inside the VLAN 2 this means that these both clients are in the same broadcast domain whenever there is a broadcast this client and this client will receive the packets whenever there is a broadcast in VLAN 2 both these client will receive the packet while this client let's suppose this is in VLAN 1 this won't receive any packet in a broadcast that is happening in VLAN 2 question number 12 is that a system that keeps public networks such as the internet as a means for creating private encrypted connection between remote location is called this is uh, self explanatory and the options are w, uh, wn vpn pan and vlan and the correct answer is vpn so again let's suppose this is uh, a headquarter and this is a branch of that headquarter and we have internet between them so since this is a public media internet is a public media in order to communicate let's suppose an employee here in this branch oops let me write again this is a headquarter and let's suppose this is an employee in a branch and he wants to communicate or internet so in order to encrypt that traffic what he does that he uses a VPN such that this whole traffic in is encrypted and it uh, the traffic flows in an encrypted tunnel this is the use of VPN question number 13 is that what are the characteristic features of a satellite internet connections and we uh, we have to select three answers and the options are high signal latency lack of signal interference cheaper in comparison to terrestrial links interference line, line of sight and weather dependent low signal latency and relatively high cost in comparison to terrestrial link so the correct answers are high signal latency interference line of sight and weather dependent and relatively high cost in comparison to other link terrestrial link so again in satellite since satellites are very very far away uh, thousand of kilometers so there is a latency due to that distance and other uh, disruptions other interference includes that it needs line of sight and it is also weather dependent if the weather is bad then the uh, signal interference and disruption will high and the last is that satellite communication is costly question number 14 is that which of the internet connection types listed below is the fastest and the options are cellular fiber cable dsl and satellite and the correct answer is fiber so optical fiber 
internet connection or uh, any connection that uses optical fiber is fast test. Question number 15 is that which of the cable modems for internet access within a standard cable television infrastructure is commonly referred to as options are dial up, cable broadband, frame relay, and ethernet. And the correct options is cable broadband. Question number 16 is what is the most common type of DSL internet connection? And the options are VDSL, ADSL, SDSL, and UDSL. And the correct answer is ADSL. Question number 17 is that which WAN technology takes advantage of cell towers that provide wireless signal coverage for mobile devices? And the options are PAN, WAN, Satellite, and WLAN. And the correct answer is WAN or Wireless Wired Area Network. Question number 18 is that a type of network connected computer within a small geographical area such as a building or group of building is called options are PAN, personal area network, LAN, local area network, MAN, metropolitan area network, and WAN, uh, wide area network. And the correct option is LAN. So a computer or network connectivity that is restricted to a single building or adjacent buildings is commonly refers to as a LAN, local area network, local to that specific building or buildings within a specific area. Question number 19 is that a computer network connecting multiple smaller networks or a very large geographical area is referred to as options are PAN, wireless LAN, MAN and wired area network or WAN and the correct answer is WAN. So WAN, let's suppose this is a LAN, this is another LAN and here we have let's suppose another LAN. These may be different buildings so they are connected through WAN and this WAN uh, usually spans over intercities or in the form of internet we can say that this uh, spans over uh, continents or multiple countries. So the most popular WAN is internet. Question number 20 is that internet is an example of large public WAN. So the options are true or false. I already gave the answer in the previous question and the op correct op answer is true. Yes, the internet is the most popular and the largest public WAN. Question number 21 is that a type of limited range computer network used for data transmission among various types of personal devices is known as PAN, LAN, SAN and MAN. And the correct answer is PAN or personal area network. So that's all for today. I hope you have learned something from today's video. For any upcoming video, please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Thank you all. Bye-bye.